In this video, I'm going to be showing you Augment Agent, which is one of the most advanced coding agents that is built for real world engineering problems and not just toy examples. First, I want to go over some highlights from their blog post, and then I'm going to dive in and show you some examples. One of the key differentiators that I noticed with Augment when compared to other tools like Cursor or Windsurf is its understanding of context, especially for particularly large repos. And what they built is what they call a context engine. So this allows it to deliver the right context to every AI interaction. So whether you're chatting with the interface or if you're using autocomplete, or now if you're using the agent, it's going to be able to reliably pull the different pieces of your code base at the relevant time. The way that they do this is they have a proprietary method where they're effectively chunking the relevant pieces of code to one another. There is that understanding as well as that retrieval that happens very quick with each interaction that you have within Augment. And leading up to the release of this agent is they released an open source agent with the Sweebench verified benchmark. And by combining Claw 3.7 as well as O1, they were able to rank the top verified score. That's just to give you an idea on some of the expertise that's within the Augment team. Paired with the agent release, they're also introducing memories, which automatically update your work with the agent and will persist across the conversations to constantly improve the code generated, solve tasks faster, and match the code style and pattern that you have within your project. In addition to the agent, they've also fully embraced MCP. You're going to be able to have access to the wide range of tools and systems that exist and are increasingly cropping up within the MCP ecosystem. When also built in, they have native tools for GitHub, Linear, Notion, Confluence, as well as Jira. The really cool way that you can think about this is now within your editor, you're going to be able to create branches, commit codes, open PRs, generate issues, but also within tools like Linear or Jira or whatever platform you might be using is you can read issues and also also even implement the solutions and update the issue status. What you'll be able to do is ask for the agent to actually move those different tasks that you have within backlog and go through the workflow. It's starting to close the gap of the software development lifecycle where you have the backlog of items all the way through to actually pushing this code potentially into production and even managing some of your infrastructure on things like Cloudflare or Vercel. Now, in terms of the agent, there's a 200,000 token context window. This will be able to pass in a ton of different contexts or all of those related pieces of code that it could be sending in as a part of its request. In terms of some important features, there's code checkpoints. If at any point you do want to go to a previous step, you'll be able to just reference up within the conversation to roll back those changes. So there's also native support for multimodality. You can pass in things like screenshots or Figma files to be able to work through bugs within the UI or actually build out new UI elements. And then there's also terminal command. Instead of just file search and encode, the agent can actually run the commands within the terminal so it can install things, start your server, and interact with Git directly. In addition to this, there is also an auto mode. If you don't want to accept every change that the agent is taking, whether it's within the terminal or the different file edits, you can go ahead and turn on auto mode where it will be able to agentically go through all of the different steps that it needs to take. Now, just to quickly touch on some of the best practices that they mentioned for using AI coding agents, there are some really interesting tips here. In terms of how you interact with the model, Coding agents are a little bit different than something like, say, ChatGPT, where you're used to just iterating on a response back and forth, especially if you're using it within something like auto mode. Some really good patterns in terms of how you can actually interact with the agent. Just some at a high level, if you ask for it to find the relevant context, but also mention to the agent particular keywords. This could be file names, function names, variable names within your code base, and then give the agent more information about what you're trying to achieve. The other thing to note is to provide the agent with positive feedback. If the agent has provided the correct answer or the right context for whatever you're asking for, providing that feedback and then providing additional instructions can be a helpful pattern. And here is just a really quick example of that within practice. One of the biggest things with the announcement is right now at time of recording, their developer tier for the agent mode, there's unlimited requests. So instead of within Cursor or Windserve, where you only have a set number of requests each month, if you subscribe to that tier, you have unlimited requests. In addition to that, they do also have a community plan where you'll be able to access and try out the agent with up to 50 requests per month. Now, without further ado, let's dive into some examples. To get started with Augment as well as their new agent, it's super straightforward. Right now for the agent in particular, it's supported in VS Code as well as JetBrains. So you can either download or search for the extension within the marketplace. Once it's installed, you'll have this chat panel that you can access. And in addition to that, you'll also see the Augment Next Edit suggestions in the bottom that you can select if you'd like. 
Once it's updated, you can go ahead and try out the new agent mode. Now, if you're using this in a new project, what Augment will do at first is it will go and index your repository as a first step. And that's an essential part for how Augment is able to give really good answers. As soon as you click Start Agent, it's effectively an introduction to the agent. So you see me, Augie, I'm an AI coding assistant. I excel at understanding large, complex code bases, but I am happy to chip in on code bases of all sizes. To demonstrate how it all ties together is it's able to get the context passing into the conversation. We can see the name that it got as a result of that terminal command. We see since I am an LLM, I don't have real memories. I'll be using augment memories. And then from there, it gives you some instructions in terms of how you can commit things to memory. For example, you can say, commit this to memory. And then finally, there's an example on how you can set up the integrations within settings. If I click over to settings here, we see that I have unlimited agent requests. And then for the tools, we have the first class tools of GitHub, Linear, Notion, Confluence, as well as Jira. From here, you can add in your MCP servers, similar to how you would within something like Windsurf or cursor if you've used either of those. Finally, within the settings, we have the context listed out. For this project, I have 42 different files. We can see the structure and we can see all of the different pieces that it either did or didn't index. We can see it's excluding certain things like node modules and some log files, as well as environment variables, some things that you might otherwise expect. Now within this update, you can go and click over to the augment memories. Within the memories, we have memories help me remember useful details for further interactions. And this is going to be where it puts all of the different memories that we have for this particular project. So it can go and reference particular things, maybe conventions that we have or certain patterns that we follow. Now with augment, you can select in three different modes. You have chat, agent, as well as auto agent, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment. You can also add an attachment or alternatively, if you want to reference different files or folders, you can do all of that within here. I'm just going to run through a handful of examples within the auto agent mode and just show you how this works. Now I'll just demonstrate a few quick features. First, I'm going to say, I want to add in a navigation within my application, have the title read developers digest and add in a few menu items. Make sure that everything's responsive. Then once that's complete, let's go ahead and start our server. What we'll see is similar to the examples that I showed earlier within the video is we'll see augments context engine going and finding the different pieces of our application as well how it's structured. Here we can see it's reasoning through the different steps. And if there are further files that it will have to read, we'll see that it will list all of those out here. Here we're gonna see that it's gonna check if there are any UI components that we can use for the navigation menu. And then finally, we see that it's developed a plan for implementation. So within here, we see we're gonna update the nav.tsx. We're gonna change the title to developers digest. We're going to add responsive menu items, and then we're going to add in the necessary icons. Here we can see it went through, it made that edit, and then finally it ran the command to start our server. Here's the navigation that it added in those navigation items. It also has the correct context for the different pages that I have within here. And then what you can do within here is you can go and you can keep all of the different changes that you made. What I can do within here is I can bun create next app. I'll go ahead and start a new project. Now, when it is a new project or a repo that you're pulling into Augment, you just have to make sure that you index that code base as a first step. As soon as it's done indexing, we'll have a breakdown about the repo. We have some suggestions of questions that we can ask, but in this case, what I'm gonna say is I want to create a beautiful landing page for my brand developers digest. I want to create a rich nav and footer and add in some content. I'll go ahead and I'll kick that off. It's gonna gather the relevant information about our project without us having to reference and add different files. It's able to do all of that for us. Once it has all of those different pieces of context that it needs, it's gonna go and generate a detailed plan to create what we have asked for. The other nice thing with this is you can see all of the edits within the chat panel as it goes through. If I just expand this here, we can see within the layout, it went and made that edit. Within the global.css, we can see all of those edits as well. Here's what it generated for us. We have developers digest, and overall we have a really nice structure for a starting point for a potential website. We have this really rich footer that it generated for us, as well as all of these relevant details. From there, we can begin to iterate on this. I encourage you to try this out. If you've tried Augment Code, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, if you found this video useful, please comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.